Today I wanted to show you how to put in an image onto a Wix site so that it scales to any size screen. Um, there's a couple things that you can do to do, well there's one main one that I would recommend. This is one of the easiest ways to do it. Um, Wix doesn't really have an image where you can put it in and say scale it to 100% unless you put it into a strip or a gallery. Um, today I'm going to review doing a gallery for this. So right here we have this uh, spreadsheet. So I had a customer ask me, how do I put a spreadsheet on the page so it scales to any size screen? Um, so it can be as big as possible if you're on a larger screen or smaller if it's on a smaller screen and it doesn't get cut off. So I have put a sample um, spreadsheet here and this is actually in a Wix Pro gallery. So I'm going to show you how that works, but just to give you an idea of how it flexes, um, in the mobile view, this is the mobile editor in Wix, it does size down to that width of that um, mobile size. So <clears throat> this is good. Now, obviously with a spreadsheet such as this, it's going to be very small on mobile. So mobile is not going to be the most ideal way to show a spreadsheet that's in a image form um, or any complicated image. If, if there's text in it, it may appear small. So you may want to consider using the Table Master app in Wix um, for tables, although it doesn't have a lot of the functionality um, such as this where there's alternating color fields and so forth. So if you're building something and you really just want it to be exactly the way you built it in Excel or any other program you were in, you can take screenshots of it, save it as a JPEG, and then put it into a gallery. And that's what we're doing here um, as per the request of the client. So, Coming into the desktop here, um, this is the Wix Pro Gallery, but I'm going to delete this out of here and we're going to start from scratch so I can show you how it's done. So come over here to Add, then go to Pro Galleries. I do choose this grid one, even though it's a grid, you have, I like this uh, Pro Gallery because you have a lot of control over how it appears um, and how many rows appear, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to drop this in here as so, get it somewhere on your screen. You'll, you'll probably need to move it around a few times to adjust it, depending on where you want it to be on the page. And then you want to click on this stretch handle. That's going to make it so that it's full screen. Now, of course, we still have the three images across, and these are all placeholder images that Wix puts in by default. So you can come in here, select all, and then delete. And now we're going to add the new image that we've created. So I've already uploaded mine. It's here, but if you want to upload a new one, you can just click here um, and you can take, like I said, take a screenshot of your of, of the spreadsheet to drop it in. I'm going to grab that and click on Add to Gallery and hit Done. Now you'll see it just has the one over here. Well, that's not good either. We need to now go into the settings and adjust the settings of the layout. So come into the Layout tab and then click on Customize Layout down here at the bottom. You want to choose fit instead of crop. Crop is going to crop the image based on the size of the person's screen and, and the grid um, settings and so forth. Fit will show the entire image. So choose that if you're doing something such as this. The last step you want to do is come down here to the images per row and move that down to one. You can also adjust the spacing so there's no spacing on um, between, but that doesn't really matter if you only have one image. Now we can close out of this, and now we have a gallery that will flex based on any person's size screen. So if they have a smaller screen, it's basically a responsive um, image to a point. So you'll notice that if I go smaller than a certain point, it is going to start cutting that off because the way Wix works is it's going to, it has a live area, and you see these dotted grid lines here. If you don't see those grid lines in your editor, click here under tools and turn them on and off um, here. These are important because this is what Wix sees as for tablets and small laptops and so forth. That's the, the width that a lot of those are. So when you size down an image or size down a window, it's basically going to size it to a point until you get past those two grid lines and then it kind of keeps it at that same size because that's about the smallest monitor or browser window that most tablets and laptops have. Um, 
And then there's the mobile view, which is separate, and Wix has its own mobile editor, which I love because you have a lot more control over exactly how things appear in mobile. So you'll see this by default just defaults to the full width. There are also other settings in here that will allow you to decide how the person can interact with this. So you could open it up into expand mode. Because we're using a full width image, that's not really going to be any bigger than what they're seeing here. But um, if they turn their phone and it's in expand mode, it might be a little bit wider. Um, but it's not going to make a huge difference on a phone. But regardless, if you put in open expand mode, they can also download it. You can turn that option on. You can also give them social sharing options and even a heart icon, which so people can like it or dislike it. I'm going to turn that off. I don't need that in this one. But I, I like having the download option for something like this. That way they can open it into any program they want and really, you know, blow it up or save it out or email it to themselves. That's kind of a nice option. And sharing's nice too if you want it to be shared on social media. Let's go back to the desktop and look at the settings there. So under here, under settings, this is also available here and you can put open expand mode and then you can turn on the download and social sharing if desired and turn off the heart icon, which seems to be a default um, unless you want it on. There's also other options here. You could have it open up a link. You could have it open in full screen um, and actually full screen. Let's take a look at that because <laughs> that's very similar to expand mode. So here's full screen. And uh, you can't see my whole screen because I have a bigger monitor than, um, than what's being shown here. But you could choose that and just choose what you, what you prefer. Let me close out of this. Let me go back to editor. So that's, that's that. Th these are, this is, I think, the best way to show an image where it's scaling and flexible and responsive to the person's screen size. Um, and then again, just double check it on mobile as well and make sure it looks good there, but it will just be 100% wide by default because that's the gallery that we're using. So a gallery is a great way to play around with a full screen image um, where you have more control over it um, than just placing an image on the page. Because for example, if I were to place that image on a page, let's go here. If I just dropped this on the page, really technically I can only make it about as wide as these grid lines because if I go beyond those grid lines, Wix is going to notify me that, hey, this isn't going to necessarily show up um, on tablets and, and laptops because the image that's way outside of those grid lines is not going to, it's most likely going to be cut off. So using just an image on the page is definitely not ideal if you want it to scale to the full width. So this is the way to get that full width scaling um, with an image by using a Pro Gallery, a Wix Pro Gallery. And again, I like to use the grid option and then you come into Customize Layout and you can choose Fit so it doesn't crop anything. And then you can also um, choose one of these. I like to choose the items per row and just set it at one. And that way I know for sure it's only going to show that one image and it's going to be the full width of the screen. So that's it. Happy Wixing. Let me know if you have any other questions.